Hey everyone, it's Patty from PS Paper Crafts and I wanted to show you how to make another Christmas card. Uh, this is for a kid, I would say. It's really cute. It almost looks like a present with the ribbon and then the little Santa Claus. Um, the Santa is from the Cookie Cutter Christmas in the annual catalog. Um, it comes with a coordinating punch and it punches out the little Eskimo, the gingerbread Santa, and this is a bear. And then if you turn it upside down, um, it does the deer. So it's really cute. Um, I have this bear that I made, this card yesterday, same DSP. Um, but you really can't tell what this is, I don't think, when you look at the stamp set. And I think he is just the cutest little guy. It says, have yourself a very middle, Merry Christmas. And then um, warm felt, or warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. So I thought this was cute. You can go to my blog if you wanted to see more information on this. Um, the, the DSP that I used is from the Dashing Along. Uh, it has um, kind of just some plain prints, I would say. I mean, they look a little busy, but if you use them, uh, you know, as a, I don't know, a background or something like that, it's, it's pretty. So I like the stripe, and I thought that looked good for my gift card. Not that it's a gift card, but it looks like a gift, a present, right? So let's get started. Um, I have the pieces cut, and I actually stamped and colored my Santa. So these are the pieces. This is Garden Green, and then this is the Dashing Along um, Designer Series paper. And then this is for the inside. And then I just have a a two by three piece that I'm going to use for the tag and then a scrap for the um, Santa. So this is your standard A2 card and then this is a five and a quarter by four and I'm going to have it facing this way. Um, so what I did was I stamped Santa Claus. I just inked him up with uh, memento ink and I stamped him and then I colored him with stamp and write markers. You could use the blends. I used real red and what is this? Uh, basic black for the boots and the belt. And then I used this gray smoky slate just for the belt buckle. And then I did all the white. I don't know if you could see it, but his uh, the trim is all uh, kind of fluffy, cottony, and his beard. So I used the Wink Estella. And you just really paint this on in person it looks really good you can see it but I'm not sure if you can see it there um, on camera but it gives it a shine and it makes the white look a little bit different than just the background so once you have him done you can color him after but I just didn't want you to sit there and watch me color I think uh, you know it's pretty pretty standard so you're gonna what I did was I unlocked this right so you unlock it there's all these pieces so you've got a bow tie heart there's eyes there's all kinds of things I'm just interested in this so it will punch out other pieces and you could save them if you want I'm just gonna probably not do that and what I like to do is kind of line him up and squeeze it just a little bit and then manipulate it around and I'm looking at his whole body to try to get him pretty pretty much centered. There'll be a little bit of white around him. And I'm going to punch him and see I got all these other little doodads. So if you need them, save them. Uh, there's a little heart. I'm not needing them for this project. So I'm going to just put them aside. And then for the tag, again, two by three. I use this tag topper punch and I'm just going to feed it all the way in. It goes all the way through and the two inch fits perfectly in here. So that worked out really well. So let's get rid of that stuff. And then I am just going to adhere him right onto the tag and that should be very easy to do. I'm going to get my snail and I'm just going to kind of go down the center, the legs. I don't think he needs all that much and I'll just put him right in the middle so I was trying to figure out how to attach this should I you know should I tie it up here with some Baker's twine and let him move around um, but it seemed too bulky with the bow uh, so I just adhered him down um, 
so you can do that you could play around with it if you want so what I did was I took my ribbon and this is the um, real red mixed satin ribbon so if you look at it closely it's got um, it's a smooth satin and then it's um, got the lines in it so I thought it was pretty and all I did was cut a piece a little bit longer long wise and then another piece a little bit longer this way and I'm just going to attach them in the back I like to use my ribbon scissors for this so what I did and you can use um, whatever adhesive you want I used fast fuse for this I wanted to make sure it really stood stood up good um, but you can use uh, the tear and tape or you could even use scotch tape so I'm going to just go like this with the fast fuse and unfortunately we're not going to be carrying this anymore it is a good good uh, good adhesive but I think people didn't really like how it used how it worked but it's very strong but I would say the tear tape might be good or just scotch tape just put it around the back and put a piece of scotch tape over it okay and I'm gonna do the same thing going the other way so I'll put this up and I think I'm going to put this up a little bit higher so Santa is not hanging down so low. So again, I'm going to just put some adhesive here. And you could actually even use the, um, the snail if you wanted to. I don't think that would be a problem. And he looks a little crooked. Just move it, get it in the right place. Let me just un undo him, and I don't know why I'm calling it a hem, but okay. And then I'm going to just attach this, and I'll just use the normal snail. You could use the snail, I don't know, um, for the ribbon. I just like to really make sure things are attached well. And I'll just put this right down on the card. So I think just doing this is nice, and you could just put, you know, Merry Christmas down here if you wanted to in the bow. Um, let's see, so we want to get Santa down, so I'm going to just put a little bit of adhesive on him. And I'm going to put him down so that he looks like he's hanging from up there. And then we'll make a bow with this ribbon and I like to make the bow and then just attach it with a glue dot actually let me make it a little bit longer I like to do it right on the the roll so I can um, have enough enough to make it nice with. So I'm just going to kind of fuss this, get it the way I want it. And then I'll cut it at an angle. Get rid of that. I'm going to cut this a little bit more. Okay, and then I'm just going to put that down with a glue dot. Um, and let me get my little glue dot thing. I like to just peel it off. I think I'm going to put a couple of glue dots down just to make it really stick well. So I'm just putting them down the back. And put that right there. Okay, isn't that cute? I think it's uh, pretty sweet for a little kid. And then on the inside, um, what I did on this one was I did Maybe Your Christmas Be Holly, Jolly, and Bright. And I got that from 
the Peaceful Noel set. I wanted to get this. I didn't really think any of these uh, sentiments were good for the inside. Um, I guess the warmest, warm heartfelt greetings for a very Merry Christmas. Let me do that one. Um, I was trying to think of something bright and cheery, so let me do that one. I think that was a good one. So let me get that mounted. Warm and heartfelt. Sometimes it's hard to see. Okay, so let me just get that mounted. Bear with me. Changing it up on the fly. And I'm going to do that in real red. This way you're just sticking with the one stamp set. I just always have uh, lots of stamp sets that I pull greetings for or from. Oops. And we just put it right there. Okay, perfect. So we'll just attach that into the inside and we're done with the card. I think it was a pretty easy card to make. Um, I really like this stamp set with the punch for kids. You can make some cute tags. Um, gift boxes and bags and things like that. So there we have it. Those are those two. And then again, this was the other one. And then this is the inside of the other one. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, you can always check me out on PSPaperCrafts.com. That's my blog and uh, I'd update it a few times a week. I'm trying to do it more often, but I'd love to see you uh, stop by. You take care. Bye.